So as you can see, I don't put my dishes away after I'm done cleaning my kitchen. Why? Because I don't like to put my dishes away. I don't know why. I just feel like if I had just the thought of after I wash all of these dishes, clean the floor and do everything I need to do, now I need to put my dishes away. I feel like that would just hold me back from actually washing dishes. So before I start washing my dishes, I like to clean my sink out because it's always full of stuff. So I take everything out and then I like to wash the sink down and then I put in my little bucket um, bowl thing and I put it in the sink and clean that as well and then I fill it up. So you'll see that in the next clip. So my plan for washing dishes today was to wash all of the pots and pans and greasy things first because today I really didn't want to wash dishes but I wanted to get it done and I also wanted to put the video out so my thing was wash the dishes that I don't like to wash first and then I can do all the little things last because I really don't mind washing the little things like the cups and bowls and plates. I don't mind that but I do mind washing pans and pots and I don't I don't like it. So <laughs> I did those first and then you'll see me work my way down to the little things.
So my plan was to time myself. As you see in the beginning of the video, it, I set the, my timer for 45 minutes. So I was giving myself 45 minutes to completely clean the whole kitchen. However, it did not work that way. And I don't know why I thought I can clean that entire kitchen in 45 minutes when I know it takes at least an hour and a half. I don't know what I was thinking. I was ambitious. I had coffee. I was ready to go. But it didn't work out that way because I actually end up stopping. Um, I end up stop washing the dishes to put my youngest to sleep. He's only two years old. It was his nap time. He was ready for, for his nap. So I stopped everything and turned off the camera and stopped washing dishes, put him to sleep. And then it came back, but it came back like an hour later. So what was I thinking? Why was I thinking I can get all of that done in 45 minutes? I was crazy, but I then realized, yeah, that's not realistic. We're done with our last bowl in the pots and pans and things like that now let's take this dish water and let's dump it we don't need that ill we don't need it and have grease and stuff in there we don't want to wash our cups in that and then we'll have greasy cups and then when you fill your cup up with water you're like oh why is my water all greasy because you washed it in grease water <laughs> so let's dump it fill it up with some fresh clean water and some fresh soap so yeah, let's start washing our cups and bowls and all that good stuff.
So these cups are really great, these metal cups here. For anyone looking for a good cup for like water or we don't drink soda, but um, ginger ale, but like for water and soda and juice and milk thing and things like that, these cups are awesome. Like, I don't know. I just love them and drinking water out of it. I don't know. It just tastes so much better than drinking out of a plastic cup. Now we do have some plastic cups, but these metal cups are our favorite. And actually, when my husband bought these metal cups, I was supposed to throw away the plastic cups, but I just have a problem. I just couldn't. Um, I was just thinking, like, what, what if I wanted to use this cup for this kind of drink? Or what if I wanted to use it with this kind of drink? So I just kept them, but I want to slowly but surely start throwing them away or recycling them, whatever just not having them as our drinking cups and just having the metal cups as our drinking cups because they're awesome. They're really awesome. They're easy to clean. I don't know. I just feel better using them too. So if you're looking for a good cup, try these metal cups. They're awesome. They're really awesome for the family. No, 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 do not put your knives in the sink that way. I was distracted. I was talking to my son. I don't, I just put it in there. Bad, 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 bad. Do not do that. <laughs> I don't recommend that because bad things can happen when you put your hand in that water. You see the knife was just sitting there waiting. It was just waiting to bite my little fingers. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Just pay attention when you're washing your knife. I really, to be honest, I don't like to put knives in the water. I just like to dip it in there and wash it and move on with my day. What was I, I like, that was just a, a I was just distracted. That was a, just not a good moment for me.
So for the forks, when you're cleaning them, my thing is I always take the time to really get in between each of those grooves of the forks because there's food that gets stuck in there. When you really look, hold it up to the light and look in between, there's food in there sometimes. So every time when I wash my forks, I love to just get in there and just each row, just make sure that I'm wiping and getting it clean because you don't want to go and grab one to eat and then, oh, you see food in there. Now you have to go back and redo what you did earlier. Cleaning the blender is also not my favorite thing to do. Like the blade, uh, I really don't, I cannot, I cannot. It's, it's, I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> this is my therapy time right now. I wanna let you know that I don't like cleaning the blades of my blender. Now I know you can put the blade back into the blender thing. You can put some soap and water in there and then you know put the lid on and turn it on and let it do its thing, but I've done that before and then I've seen that when I take the blade out, there's still like food in the little grooves and stuff. So I always like to just like wash it with my hand or when I did have a brush before I threw my brush away, I like to just scrub it down with the brush, which was actually, it actually made things a lot easier um, than washing it with a washcloth because I don't like to do that. But right now I have my washcloth, that's all I have because I threw my brush away because it was old, it was time. And I just haven't gotten out to the store to get one. I've been to the store, but I don't remember to buy a brush. Um, so yeah, I don't like it. Cleaning the blender is not fun. Like literally, I would think like, okay, I want to make a green drink, but then I don't want to clean the blender so maybe i'll just drink something else that's is like that it's that bad <laughs> so yep the blender is done though so well, let's move on hey wait but before we move on i want to know how do you wash your blender what is the easiest way you found um to get your blender clean and do you like washing blenders am i the only one i, I, I think who who likes washing a blender? I don't think anyone would like to wash a blender. That is just, oh, there's like pieces. No, I don't think there's anyone out there. Comment below if you like washing blenders. I'm sure there's going to be no one commenting. I like washing blenders. I'm sure of it, but I love to be wrong. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks to getting a blender clean, fast, uh, without having to take out all the little parts and wash by hand. I would love to know.
più drei farfalon amoroso notte giorno di torno these bananas are super done they are ready they're ready for the banana bread and that's what i'm making i'm making me some banana bread and when they're like this they're at its sweetest uh, they don't look really appetizing but they are and they make for super really good yummy banana bread and i know no one's here to listen about banana bread no one cares but i just wanted to share that <laughs> So this Libman Precision Angle Broom that I have here, um, I'm opening it right here, it's new. I really like it. Um, why do I like it? Because it has really strong brits bristle, bristles, bristles, bristles. Oh man, that word, I don't know how to say that word, but you guys know what I mean. It's like stiff, it's really strong. I like it because I have hardwood floors and they have groups in between the lines of the hardwood, you know, the lines in there and dirt and crumbs and everything collects in between each of the lines. So that broom, it really picks up in between those lines. It doesn't just glide over it. And that's what I really like about this Lipman broom because it's like, it's super strong. However, I will say, you see me um, putting the dirt in the dustpan? It's hard, maybe because it's brand new, but it's hard to get it to like, kind of like bend a little bit to get the dirt into the dustpan. Yeah, that's just a, like a little problem. It's not a big deal. It may change over time because I've had my old broom for so long that um, I forgot what it's like to have a new broom. And I know that's terrible to say, but that's the truth. And I really like it. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Mission accomplished, you guys. We did it. Yes, we did not want to do it. Yes, we complained, but guess what? We did it. I'm so proud of us. I hope that you are inspired to continue to wash your dishes even when you don't want to wash them because it feels so good to go in that kitchen and you have clean dishes, grab and go as you please. You don't have to stop and wash. So I hope you guys are inspired to keep going, keep doing it. We can do it. Now I can make my banana bread. I don't have to wash as I'm baking. I can just go ahead and enjoy myself and then have a treat afterwards. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.